Hello guys, Elvarp here. Oh, we are back in Monstrosity. I'm pausing the game as I do because it seems to be something that I do. So I've just been recording a couple episodes of my map, Spectres, and I decided, hey, we haven't recorded Monstrosity in a while. So holy damn, our FOV is funky because I'm just used to Monstro used to having those beats of super speed on, and now it's all confusing and stuff. But regardless, the plan is not different than it was beforehand. Um, we run across, we get iron, and profit, because we have iron. It's fairly simple, iron. I mean, that actually made sense. Um, so first we're going to have to go for the low-hanging fruit, that is, the ones that don't have blazes by them. Um, but the tough one is parts are going to be making the bridges safe, because God knows, we're not walking across this thing like this. So, yeah. Um, time for a bridging episode? It's okay though, because, um, bridging is fun. Ah, huh? that was funny, wasn't it? Bridging being fun. But seriously though, we're gonna be doing a lot of this now in this area, because, honestly, I'm not having other lava death. There are normal deaths, and then there are lava deaths. And I do not want either. However, lava deaths are a lot worse, because you lose things. Not just lava. Because all of your stuff burns. In a fire. And it's sad. So, that's how things end. That's really all. I think you're expecting some kind of, you know, happy end or something. Nope. It's just dying in fires. That's all. That's really all it comes down to anyway. Just dying in a fire. You know how things are. Fire deaths. Burning. Flames everywhere. Sort of like imagery of hell. Probably because it's hellish. And I have made the most intricate bridge system most, but it's cold unnecessary right here. So I'm not sure if this is exactly wise. This is ridiculously dumb. I think once he can reach over here, hopefully he doesn't have any kind of traps. But, and it's storming outside. Great, 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 great. We don't have the left side covered. Um, we should fix that problem. And we hear things. Wonderful. Hopefully my um, change in the volume has just things. I still hear everything the same thing, but on your end, I have changed the volume down to, what should we call it, to 30%. So it's a lot quieter on your end, and it is the exact same for me. So everybody wins. If you like your volume quiet. If you like them to be quiet. If not, if you don't, you're weird. But that's okay. You can be weird and be wrong. So knock yourself out with your weirdness. We will be efficient and use torches. Not quite portal level stuff, but whatever you can do, you know. Our uh, doesn't get placed. Yeah. Look at that skills. And then you gotta go here and here, 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 and not get shot off. Check your inventory to make sure that you are not being shot at by skeletons and that you have open space and you do. Because you're just that awesome. And get one iron. Ah, uh, nine more to go. Great. Riveting footage here. So next we gotta go for the. Oh, shit, I should have brought. I really uh, should bring more weapons next time and go for something like this. So first I think the best option is to run another lap. So we can go... Okay, that's where a creeper went. Kablamo. Those are blazes, so... High risk, low reward. That's bad. We went high risk, high reward. Or low risk, high reward. Or low risk, low reward. Something that doesn't involve risk or reward. Less burning zombies. Not that I mind it, but if you set me on fire sometimes, it makes me sad. Okay. We only have four arrows, so we're gonna have to. Yeah, we're gonna want to just get close to this guy, and then pop in the face, and 
hide in a corner. Do the same deal. And apparently he can't hit me from two feet away. Minimize hits. Perfect. So yeah, there's some blazes over there. So basically the only thing that was whoop, that was close. That was easy to get is that and that. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna bore you guys to death with this. Let's Yeah, let's end your program. Great idea. That's actually what came to my head. Sometimes I scare myself. Let's just go for the next place. Screw it. We have four arrows. What could possibly go wrong? Other than everything. So yeah, we've already taken that area out. It was interesting. But now we will go here. We will go up. Oh, that was bad. It could have been very bad. It wasn't terrible, though. So that's the brighter side, but it wasn't great either. Perfect. We are higher. See, so yeah, we're just gonna... Oh, come on. I need arrows, though. Okay, come on, get over here. Okay, you can't, you can't hit a pair I'm not going all the way down there. Screw it. Screw it. But we have to get up there somehow. So. Boop. Done. And we're good. So we have one. We'll just drop that off in the end of chest. And then we will go to the last area. And see how that works out. Uh, because I have bad feelings about it. Ooh, that was scary. I'm getting weird lag now. We have 88 deaths, and I intend to keep it that way. But you never really know how things will end up. So, yeah. We have to just watch out for the creeper. Like that, see? Like, that was surprising, and I didn't expect it. But at the same time, I really should have expected it, because it was kind of sitting right in front of me, more literally than usual. So that's okay. But these are the kind of things that I talk about, and then don't follow what I preach. One, two, three. So, I think the first option is... I'm tempted to just use invisibility. We only have two ender pearls, making it really not ideal to attack the next area. You remember this area is right? Good. Good to know. Power three or Right, well it's only power you have to choose. But we don't have any of this. All we have is an efficiency one would pick, which is kinda crap. So basically no. It's a good summary of the entire place. So we could go for some potions of strength, but it's only three minutes of it. We could go strength two, but that's not really necessary at all. So instead, we just ch go forward. Um, keep those in mind that we have them. But I don't think we're going to use them, except for maybe the health, which is four. Yeah, four. Get to remember where they are. Or else bad things happen. Soften these guys up. Oh, no, that was bad, because we only have two arrows left now. Okay, you're dead. You should die, too. You're dead. Which is bad. Okay, let's just walk away. Okay. Come on, one more. <sighs> Fine. Oh shit, you're free. I should be able to spawn there. Whatever, you give me sword. If you give me sword, that's okay. Oh, you guys are in the room. It is just fine. Holy crap, that's a lot of things. Yeah, we can't take you. Okay, we have to take you. Good. Get over here. You guys can get over here. Okay, that works. I guess. Everything is not coming as intended, but it is working out. Not as intended. I guess it's close enough. Things are happening. Not ideally. Especially with the sword. Actually, with the sword, we should probably just make another one. Should have gotten one more iron, just make an iron sword, get it over with. Or we could use the anvil with the gold sword. But we're gonna have to rename the gold sword, cause. Sword. We can name it the sword. But it doesn't look like that's gonna work out. Cause there are things. And so, there's only one direction to go. It is here the hell place. Because I am fairly sure that aside from having a goddamn sheep here, we can grab stuff from this chest. Yep. And a whole arrow. That is what we call progress. 
So now we can just take you and you and you and use you guys together. Yay! But honestly, I'm not sure how dead I am, but I feel pretty dead because I think the guests have buffed fireballs. Unless we can use some kind of a, an enchant on something. Is there anything named? No. Can I combine these guys? I get smart three. I will get a nice sword, but it's kind of expensive and it's usually gold, so. Let's not do that. There's nothing good there. Some golden apples would be nice, be very nice. We should take you along. And then shovels we don't need. And I think regen be tempting, but we don't have an enchanting thing on me. Or a potion brewing place stand. And the rest of these things, where's the useless one? I just saw use. nope, no I didn't. And yeah, that's all we need for now. So this should be a little better. We have smite, or fire aspect, or sharpness. Honestly, I'm thinking sharpness is gonna, yeah. Honestly, I think sharpness is gonna be the best. We're gonna be down to using wooden swords. Once again, this is progress right here. Everything that we need is progressing. Oh, I totally know where that block went. Did not just randomly disappear. In fact, we totally have blocks. Okay, we're gonna have to switch out these shirts too. However, hopefully those zombies down there, if they stay spawned, it'll help us out a lot in that next area. Or I could just chill out in the area with the spiders. The spiders? Because that would be nice if we could just have a bunch of things filled up and be our honeypot presence. Because that's always nice. Instead, they just decided to scare the crap out of you with a bunch of people right in your ass. Okay, perfect. Now we have bread here. Oh, we need torches here too. You got one. Do our number one. Alright, so, can't remember quite how far I got with the, um, why are you here? Actually, it's totally unsurprising because it's a dark hallway, but still, get out. Oh, this is great. We're getting so many kills. It's like, boom, headshot. Except for this, not getting headshots. So let's just rip on through here. Maybe if we get on top of the place? What's up with the redstone? Oh, it's part of the block variation thing pattern. Thing pattern. Whatever the hell it's called, it's part of it. Oh god damn it! Oh, all the crazy little shit. You gotta be kidding me. We have vein of arthropods on us. Um. Right, so we could go down. There we go, um, air, no air, air and no air, that is the question. Why you no give me air? Oh shit, that's why, oh, there we go, we got this, forgot about that detail. To breathe or not to breathe, that is the question. Okay, and you, oh wait, not you. And what that does is it just keeps the water flowing, so on the next one, we just got one, and the next time we just mine two, we're good. As as a lifelong cheeser, I know how to handle these things. So next what we want to do is just take out all the spawners one by one. First I want to kind of make a good network of pathways. Oh, I heard something. That's kind of ominous, but whatever. We get block space. Okay, so there's exit number one. We're gonna have to watch out for cave spiders, so I wonder on the crafting table. Okay, this is gonna be the marking of an exit. Or an entrance, whatever it is. Whatever the hell those things are called. Next, that is a roof. So we're gonna mark that off with the roof tile. And so after that, we just kinda start looking around everywhere for some spawners, which are part of the roof tile. 
See? All makes sense when you cheat. Cheating is the way to win. So now what we have to do is just don't move the crap out of this place because as we already know, the mobs here are overpowered as hell as I have no chance against them. Which is how one defines overpowered. Or until our pick breaks, in which case we're pretty much dead. Um, that glowstone's interesting looking. We should check it out. Investigate it. Um, right, you go here, here. That one. And, uh, and that's definitely, uh, gas. But it can't see me, so we're safe. Now, if it starts to see me, that's when bad things happen. But it does mean that we're somewhat close to some spawners. Let's go here. <laughs> Holy crap, that guy's right in front of my face. Um, so we're gonna have to keep a very careful watch on how close we are to death. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that What the hell are they shooting at? What is this madness? How are they what shoot? This is really scary. Oh, Jesus. We might want to just have to pull the hell out of here. But I don't want to do that yet. I want to make me a safe little base. And then be happy. And before you do that, we have to find the spawner. Which has to be near. Okay. So there's some things down here. Is this where I dove in originally? A while ago? I don't know. Yeah, it looks like it. This is one of the places anyway. So, we could just dive in here. So there's a spawner way the hell over there that we should get rid of. That's, um, spiders. We're just gonna get rid of them right away, not just normal. Just get rid of them. Actually get rid of them. Get rid of them. Apparently there's a difference between getting rid of things and getting rid of things. So, there you go. Today you get rid of things. And so next is spiders, those things are dangerous. But if we can, you know, okay, so now we have another spider that we gotta watch out for, as you can hear by the skeletons. But again, no worries if we just keep our cheesing up, we're safe and sound. So, you just keep your cheesing, keep on cheesing, and eventually, you find it. You shave off some corners. Same war area. And you figure out exactly where the limits are. And it's how to cheese without work. Okay, so I think we're starting to get an idea. It goes one, one, two, one, two, six, six, six. Right, and then this is the limit here. And that goes there. And then this goes down here. And then it kind of expands. So basically we can we can not go here. But we know that we're right below the ceiling tiles. I don't know why they're tiles now, but they're definitely tiles. Well, shit. Okay, that was easy. There we go. Eh, it's bad, but we can deal with these things because we're amazing. See, so we have a gas very close to us, or we have a gas spawner. I'm going by gas. Oh, that's a spawner. Oh, that's an invisible spider. Oh, die in fire. Or on fire. But you are cold. Good coal. Because there is such a thing as bad coal. It's very subpar, of course. Bad coal is. It's kind of what bad means. Or subpar means. Whatever. That's what both words mean. Words mean just on two different sides of it. Bad or subpar. Synonyms, but kind of different. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Because I see a spawner. Oh shit. Uh, let's go to the left, maybe? The left is safe. Right, we hear things. We're definitely near this corner. And these are the same guys who totally messed us up earlier. So I consider this my revenge. I just want to point that out. Boom. Dead. And to signify our victory, we get a glow set up here instead of just a normal stone. And to block this up and make us not dead. 
that's what we were checking for. We were check for explosions too. Perfect. Now you're dead too. Nope, can't see a thing. You are blind. sneak out over here if we wanted to. And I'm legitimately considering trying it. Okay, you just fell. Good for you. Uh, idiot. And we will leave that fall your My taste in bad puns is really pathetic. I'm gonna just keep on going. I'm just gonna go right in because I think is the plan. Oh hey guys. kidding me. Bush League stuff right here. But... We're finally actually taking back this place. By back up. Whoa, that was direct effect. Headshot, I guess you could say. Okay, okay uh, we're out of arrows, so crap. Time to run away. See, and this is this is when you are wise and know to follow the stage. But you still gotta be really careful. See, look at this nice area. We can just smash space a couple bajillion times. Good. You're out of here. And then we all know that gas can't be. But they're still very dangerous at points. But if we can actually get up close to them, I think we can take him. Crazy crap. Okay. They better not get two in a row. I can't get that one. Okay. Two in a row, but they might get one in a row. We're good. Now we just gotta figure out how the hell to get down there. That's my passage. Where's my cheese pathway? Way. Where's the cheese highway? Oh shit. Okay, they're going crazy down back there. We gotta find the cheese highway before we die away. Or we can die my way. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank you. Thank you, Yield Skeleton. Your god is insane. Okay. Should I activate this corner? Mob, everyone. Hide, run and hide. Crap. Mm, mm, mm. Health. Jesus Christ, there's more of them. Okay. That was insane. Um. So we're gonna have to, have to slowly rip through this. Oh! Okay. Magic theory repair, wonderful. That was actually quite convenient indeed. Okay, um, I don't know how to get to where I was, by the way, so this could be a lot of nothing. Okay, uh, maybe it'll summon again? Who knows? Oh, we could use this and this. Slowly, slowly break through this, turn down the music, the music's really loud. But, we might just get there. I don't know how the hell I'm alive still, but it's okay. Um, you don't have to be alive to be alive. You just have to throw out a couple of X and Y's and think those are entertaining. Okay. So 
we've got blocks. Do you have any arrows? Shit. Okay. Hmm. We're gonna have to do something clever because I sure as hell am not waiting here for hours on end. We gotta use these gas somehow. If we can make them kind of rip a path over do some mining, you know, gas mining. We might be able to do something. Just keep going through the fire. You know. Okay, we got two shots coming. Two shots. You got damn bad gas in the count even. Oh there we go, there we go. Run away. Okay, so we um really made that out alive, but I think we can actually do a floor run if we can handle the roof, basically. The roof's gonna be the biggest problem, so I think getting some ender pearls out of this. But first we're gonna have to go back home. And first we're going to have to end the episode here because I am a jerk who ends episodes here. Um, you know what, let's play this the fun way. Run away. There could be anything behind us. But I think this is actually safer. That's the scary part. So, yeah. Um, thanks for watching. And, bye.